hello everyone and welcome to another video so today in this video we're taking a look at this carbon heating film that i bought from aliexpress and i paid for this about five dollars that's including shipping so i bought the trial version because with the tri trial version you're getting everything that you need to uh, get started so and also because this is a lockdown timings covid period uh, i didn't want to risk any more uh, extra money into this so i went with the cheapest option which was the trial one so it came in this bubble wrapping there was another packaging on top uh, the packaging was decent for what they were shipping so let me just take this out and show you what we get in the box i'm sorry about that so there we go you get the infrared heating sorry the carbon heating film and they call it infrared heating film as well so as you can see this is how it looks you get two copper strips on each end one on the left and one on the uh, right and what to make the connection all you do is basically you connect your ac 220 volt uh, one wire will go here and the other will go here or you can make one connection here and the other connection at the in the diagonal position all you have to do is make sure that both the wire that you're connecting goes on the different copper strips because if you make both the connection on a single copper strip because the copper strip is a single strip that will be a short so when we are doing a connection we need to make sure that we're making connecting one wire of our ac our terminals to one strip and the other wire goes on to the other strip and then once you connect this to the electricity what will happen is uh, the uh, electricity will pass through this carbon carbon strip and because carbon is resistive in nature it will cause uh, some heating effect in the carbon and that's how it works let's put this down for now and take a look at what else we get in the package so with the trial set you will also get this uh, uh, insulating uh, pad and crimping strip that will connect onto the uh, copper strip so these are the uh, crimp crimpers that you get so and these will clip onto the uh, copper strip and that will uh, basically make the uh, connection on top of the uh, connection with the uh, your or carbon film so you get two terminals with the trial pack and you will also get this uh, insulating pad of some kind so you will use this to uh, cover the copper once you are done with it because if i if i show you Once you make, once you crimp this copper, uh, you will be touching the bare uh, terminals of your AC uh, terminals, and if you accidentally touch this, uh, there is a chance of electric shock. So you definitely want to cover both the ends, uh, this end as well as the bottom end with the insulating pads that you get. You can also use captain tape on this, and uh, all you have to do is make sure that the copper terminals are not uh, accessible. So without any further delay, let's just. Uh, make our connection and before we do that let me show you uh, for five dollars what is the length that you're getting now because it came shipped wrapped like this it's want to go back to its original position so i've got this tape measure here and with the tape measure you can see that i've got about uh, this is a the length of this is about 50 uh, centimeters about 20 inches and the width of this strip is about 10 inches or 25 centimeters now to make the connection all you will have to do is take the strip take this crimping tool let me show you a close-up okay so now let us make the connection so let's unfold the copper strip I will be connecting one connector on the one side of the copper strip and the other connector will go on the other uh, on the other copper strip so let's grab our uh, metal connectors let me put some weight on the other side of the uh, film so that it doesn't move so this is the copper strip so take your connector as you can see this is how it looks now the flat side will go at the bottom as you can see this is going to be the flat side and this will go at the bottom so all you will have to do is simply bring this up like that and then crimp it on top of the copper strip with your hands 
and that's done once it's done use a plier to crimp it properly so let me just grab my plier and do the rest so i've got my plier first crimp it from the left side and then do the same from the right side as well and as you can see our connection has been made let's do the same thing with the left other copper strip or the left side of the strip so this is the left side of the uh, uh, strip again do the same thing pass it through like that the flat side goes at the bottom once it's there fold it with your hand once it's folded grab your uh, pliers again and secure the connection once from the left side like that and once from the right side okay that feels like a good connection now we will measure the resistance by connecting a multimeter to both the terminals so let me grab my multimeter and that let's just check the resistance okay now let's measure the resistance uh, of this uh, strip so i've got my multimeter here so let us set it to uh, resistance 2000 ohm setting and i've already connected the terminal as i've shown you let's connect a couple of uh, alligator clips so let me connect one on the right side that's one let's connect another one on the left terminal so they are now connected now let's connect the connect them to the multimeter and i'm hoping to get something under 2000 ohm so we're getting 1840 ohms with this uh, panel and i also told you the size of the panel before so 1800 and about 40 ohm 1840 ohm so let's just write that down so we have the resistance r equals 1840 ohms let's measure our voltage that we're getting from our uh, outlet so i've got a small extension here let's measure the voltage as well let me just remove these alligator clips uh, turn my multimeter to the ac voltage setting and hopefully you will be able to see let me turn the electricity on so i've turned the electricity on let's turn it on put our probes in before we turn it on and you can see we're getting somewhere close to 200 and 49 volt about 250 volt is what we're getting from our outlet so let's write that down as well so i'm just going to write 240 volts 240 volts so v equals ir that means uh, if we want to calculate the current we can say that current is going to be voltage which is r240 volts in this case uh, it was 249 so let's just call it we'll just take 240 for now or let's just put it make it 250 250 because that's what somewhere what we are getting uh, so the voltage divided by the current and if we do the calculation let's open up a calculator 250 divided by 1840 that gives us 0 0.01358 so let's write that down 0 0.1358 amps now if you want to calculate the 
power the watts so the power in watts is equals to voltage multiplied by the current in this case we have the voltage as 250 volts multiplied by this value 0 0.1358 if we do that let's see what is the what that we are getting so this is the current that uh, the uh, strip should take if you multiply that with the voltage that is 250 volt so we are getting 33.9 watts so this is a 33.9 watts heater so let's write that down 33.9 watt so this is the voltage of this heater now let me just connect some wire and uh, read the maximum temperature using a thermometer okay now let us connect some wire uh, to the heating strip so i've got some wire i've stripped this for the crimping as you can see this will fit in here and then i can simply crimp it up looks like i need to uh, remove a little more insulation from the wire so let me just do that that looks enough I think that's enough so put the wire in now you can decide whether you want to uh, take your wire in this direction or in that direction in this case let us go in this direction so first I'm putting the wire on the left terminal so as you can see this is where the wire will fit and then you will crimp it so let me just do that Put the wire in and then take your pliers and simply press it and as you can see it made a good connection just to make sure I think that's a good connection let's connect let's connect the other wire on the other side so for this terminal I will be using a red wire so let's connect the red wire on this terminal let's remove the insulation about this much I think that's enough rotate it a little bit to Pull together all these strands putting it in and then crimp it That looks in let me just do that again and I think that's tight enough so we got our two connections complete so we connected a wire on the right terminal as well as on the left terminal now let us plug this in uh, keep this running for uh, some time and measure the maximum temperature that it reaches Okay, so now that I've connected uh, two wires to the uh, heating film, le now let us uh, see what is the maximum temperature it reaches. I've also got a small uh, digital thermometer here, as you can see. So let me just uh, stick the thermometer probe onto the film using a small tape. So let's uh, put this somewhere here or maybe here in the middle. So here is our thermometer probe as you can see and the current temperature of the film is about 32 degrees celsius so let's keep it there and now let us bring in our ac outlet let's plug in 
uh, both the terminals that's one that's two so I think it should be live now make sure that you're not touching these terminals because these terminals are live because I haven't put any kind of insulation just yet so the heater is now working and will come back when it reaches the maximum temperature or will come back after 10 minutes and we'll see what is the maximum temperature it reached so as you can see it's been about 30 31 minutes and after I have removed the pillow it's been like 10 15 minutes and you can see that the temperature is hovering at 52 degrees Celsius it is fluctuating between 52.7 52.6 so the equilibrium temperature that it is holding up is about 52 degrees Celsius meaning the heat that is being lost to the surroundings and the heat that is being produced uh, after all both these uh, two temperatures cancels each other out and then the final temperature we have is about 52 degrees Celsius so this is so this was my heating test of this uh, heating strip now uh, let me show you how you attach these uh, paste on top of this I will not be attaching them because I want to use this strip for aquarium and if I put this on top of this strip it will be a little difficult for the aquarium to sit on top of it uh, smoothly so instead of this I will be using some uh, insulating tape but let me just show you what you do with these so with the trial kit you get a six uh, insulating paste or insulating strips so there are two points that we just attached our wire one on the right side and one on the left side and so what you do is you basically remove the this part the white part need not be removed you take one part at the bottom like this then you take another strip and you put the other one on top and then you press it together and this way it is secured and if you accidentally touch this you will not get electrocuted now you have to you, now the same thing needs to be done with the uh, left terminal now because I will not be using this because I want to use this for my aquarium I will remove this in a bit uh, so let me show you what you do with the other side so with the other side you, again you will take one of uh, one such uh, strip and instead of putting one at the bottom and one on the top you will also have to uh, because th this is bare bare copper and if you touch it accidentally there is still a chance of electric shock so again on this side you will use only a single strip from the bottom and then cover it from the top and that makes up your connection and exactly you will do with the uh, top left and you will use two strips at the bottom left of this terminal like we did this one one from the top and one at the bottom and there is how this is how you uh, set this strip up so there we go this was my video on the uh, carbon heating film this was the trial version i hope you found this video helpful thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye bye